What's up guys, PowerGPU here. Going to be doing the unboxing today for the Intel Core i7-970. Let's go ahead and to move on to the unboxing. Here you can see the box is bigger um, than your standard 920 just because it has the Intel Core i7-980 cooler. Um, and again, that cooler you see has a copper design, a lot better than the stock heatsink that brings all the other processors. It's for the high-end CPU only. Um, it brings the manual as well, which uh, brings a sticker in there so you could use on the outside of your case to show off to your friends. And of course the processor. It is a 1366 socket processor. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the specs and some of the pictures and some actual designs. Alright guys, so you can see here the little bit closer design, or a little closer view of the fan that it brings. Very nice design there. Um, this processor here features, it has six cores, and in total with hyper-threading it has 12 threads. Um, it has every technology that Intel offers. Um, as far as you can see, Intel Hyper 30 technology, Intel Turbo Boost technology, Intel Smart Cache technology, and of course supports 3 channel DDR3 memory support and works with x58 chipsets only. Um, of course, graphics card is required on this, unlike uh, the Intel Core i3, you could use an onboard. Um, and of course, this one brings a 3 year warranty through Intel themselves. Um, something I would recommend if you will be overclocking this processor is please use um, the cooling that the Intel brings at least uh, or in it, uh, Corsair H50 or Corsair H70. Um, so far I have gotten it up to 4.5 gigahertz easily. Temperatures are very moderate and very good for using 3D Mark Vantage on it. This um, actual processor retails for $879 right now. Um, I would highly recommend it for users that will be doing a lot of video rendering. It is definitely worth it. Um, for gaming, not so much, um, like Dark says. His Intel Core i7-980X, he says he uses the benefit out of it when he does his rendering for videos. Here you can see a little bit closer design on the fan, the copper heat sinks on the side. Very, very nice way that Intel did this with just something. It doesn't bring the little plastic thing that uh, all the other ones bring with it. Um, here you can see the fan, very nice design again, and of course this processor features a 3.2 gigahertz processor, um, this one is actually utilizing 12 domestic cache as well, and is a, a TDP rated at 130 watts. This is an LGA 1366 socket processor as well. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you a few pictures here, a little bit closer design, enjoy. <laughs> 